bathroom. The bathroom. Yeah, it's right in there. Were you at the party? I don't think I saw you. No, you didn't. I was in here working all night. Working? What were you working on? It's a position paper for Senator Kitteridge. You know, Senator Kitteridge, rumored to be a presidential candidate. I work for him. Do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's, uh, oh, wow, it's 8.30. I am late. I'm not much into politics. All those guys are crooks. Excuse me? This is a crook? Hmm? Or, uh, this man was a crook? These were great men, and I'll tell you what. There were quite a few parties that these guys missed. The Republican Party? <laughs> Where are my shoes? Did you see my shoes? Hey, Tommy, wake up. Hmm. Wake up. What? Hey. What? Wake up. What? Where are my shoes? Huh? Where are my black shoes? You had them last night. Go barefoot. Tom, come on. This is important. I get to meet the senator today. I thought you already met the senator. Will you help, please? Try the closet. Do you have any clean towels? No. no. Was she with you last night? Yeah. But she failed the big test. What test? <clears throat> Rhonda? Yes? Rhonda, sweetie, who's your favorite author? You already asked me that. Yeah, but I forgot. Jackie Susan. See what I mean? Someday, Master, someday I will find one who is worthy of you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Hey, my shoes! Thanks a lot, Tommy. How many times do I have to tell you the name isn't Tommy anymore, Congressman? It's T.S. As in T.S. Eliot. Or T.S. Garp. I was up all night working on this. All right, where board. is it? It's, uh. It's long enough. Yeah, but I think he'll be pleased. I have worked very hard on it. All right. But the senator likes brevity, huh? Senator Kittridge is staff. Proposition before the Senate is the Newman Foster Amendment to the Department of Interior Appropriation Bill. As many senators as are in favor of the amendment will rise. Those opposed vote no. Mr. Clark, call the vote. Excuse me, Senator. Excuse me. This is Paul Tracy. He wrote your position paper on the farm mortgage problem. Hello, Paul. Very pleased to meet you, sir. So tell me, Paul, what do you think we should do? <clears throat> well, it's a complicated issue, sir. You have to try to thin line from the farmers and the financial community. I know you don't want to alienate either, so I think I've come up with a solution. I tell you what, I have an 11 o'clock at Ways and Means. Why don't you walk over with me and you can brief me on the highlights? Yes, sir. And so, sir, if you place another of their men on the board, labor would be satisfied and so would the management. A major strike would be averted and the credit would be yours. <laughs> You've done a lot of work on this, haven't you? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I have. Miss Hammers tells me you're one of the up-and-comers on my staff. How long have we been together? Uh, just this term, sir. You plan on politics as a career? Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Step over here, Tracy. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Take a look at this, Tracy. My daughter is a very troubled girl, a source of great pain to her mother and me. 
The truth is, she needs help in the worst way. So I decided to send her to a place down in the south, a school where they straighten out girls with problems. I want you to drive her there, Tracy. You want me, sir? That's right. I need a man I can trust. If the press got wind of this, well, it could be extremely damaging to the campaign. You do understand what I'm saying, Tracy. Well, yes, sir. But just how, how troubled is she? She should be manageable now. What do you think, son? Yes, sir. I think you found your man. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like you to be at my place at 6.30 tomorrow morning. 6.30? Right. If you have any trouble, call Virginia Hammond. Robin sedated. Well, you won't have any trouble, will you, Tracy? No, sir. <laughs> You're going on a little trip, Robin. Trip where? Back to school. To a new school for the rest of your senior year. No, I don't want to go to a new school. You have to go to school, honey. Now get in the car, dear. No, I don't want to go. Get in the car! <laughs> She's fine. Just a little exhausted, that's all. It's the medication. Right. She's uh, likely to be a little cranky when she wakes up. You might need these. These are handcuffs. Just a precaution. Well, good luck, Tracy. I'm counting on you. All right. You don't get there in two days, I'm calling out the FBI. <laughs> and listen. Keep thinking about that farm situation, huh? Yes, sir. Thanks very much, sir. Take care. we met yet. My name is Paul, Paul Tracy. I uh, work for your dad. Mercedes-Benz? A Benz? Nice wheels, Congressman. Yep. Thanks for inviting me along. Sure. Hey, 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 watch the paint. Come on. Turtle wax. So that's her, huh? Yeah. Up late last night, were you? They got her dope to the gills. All the better. She won't be bugging us. What's typewriter for? Well... You never know. I thought there might be a story in this. Wrong. This deal is strictly sub rosa. You're here to drive, and that's it. No problem. I'll change the names to protect the innocent. Brewski? It's going to be a good trip. Up you go. Tell me something. Uh, 
What was the latest book you read? Mm. Good morning. Bye. Well, it's not exactly morning. It's about uh, 10.57 a.m. I guess you don't know who we are. I'm Paul, Paul Tracy, my good buddy Tommy. We're the guys that... I'm going to uh, throw up. You what? It's the medication. I'm going to throw up right now. <laughs> right ahead of us, okay? We might as well try to make the best of it. And we're nice guys. I do not like to fight with girls, so don't make me, okay? And by the way, uh, your father gave me these before we left. And I don't want to have to use them, so don't make me. Okay? So, let's just try to have some fun. What do you say? Well, am I going to have to use these? No. No? No more running away, right? No. Good. I told you. Hey, if music's bothering you or anything, you just let me know, okay? Piss off. Okie dokie. So, Robin, I'm just curious. What'd you do to get sent to this place? Okay. None of my business. Uncontrollable urges. Uncontrollable? I had this uncontrollable, almost psychotic desire to put a snake in my teacher's desk. I don't know what made me do it. That's it? That's all she did? Hardly. She vandalized the principal's office and wrecked her car. Which she richly deserved. Well, the question is, did your dad deserve it? All the embarrassment, I mean? What do you know about my dad? I know he's a great man. I know he might even be president someday if you don't blow it for him. Wow. You're really a believer, aren't you? Senator Kitteridge is the reason I got involved in politics in the first place, Robin. You're very lucky to have a pop like him. Oh, yeah. Embarrass Daddy and get sent to bad girl prison. Lucky me. You guys as hungry as I am? I'd say we all get a bite to eat.
much to paint. Nothing like that good southern cooking. Stick to your ribs. Yeah, it'll be kind of like the last supper, only it's lunch. Hello? Sir, madam, would you follow me, please? Can I help you? Yeah, we like to get some drinks first, then we thought we might I'm to... sorry, but we have a dress code here. A what? A dress code. We could provide jackets and ties for you gentlemen, but uh, this young lady... Oh, you mean I have to be wearing a dress in order to get served? That's right. Okay. There you go. You wanted a dress, right? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. What's the matter? Miniskirt. Miniskirt, you know. London, Mary Quant, 1960s, Mod Squad, Inagata De Vida. If you don't leave right away, I'm going to have to call the authorities. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you just start at the top, then? Pardon me? I should start at the top. Call the governor. I'm sure he'd be pleased to hear how the daughter of his close friend, Senator Clark Kitteridge, was denied seating in violation of the Civil Rights Act of 1965, which clearly states that services shall be provided equally regardless of race, creed, color, or sex. You have some sort of a lawyer or something? I bet you're in it. <laughs> Our best table is right over here. Thank you, sir. Hey, uh, gentlemen. Yes? A very unusual way of eating. Yeah. Daddy used to call it atrocious. I mean, Daddy has a way with words. Manners were important to him. No, they're important to most people, Robin. To him more than others. He wants us to be this young, attractive family type thing. I didn't buy it. I'd lick my finger, slurp my soup. I actually practiced how bad I could get. You must have loved that. I even discovered how to eat with my feet. <laughs> How do you do that? Well, you just kind of put the fork right in between your big toe and your next toe. You can do it if you practice. <laughs> and you, you practiced? Damn straight. I'm sorry. I was once showing my friend how to eat spaghetti like that. We had long strands of spaghetti hanging through our toes. Spaghetti sauce all over the place. It was really actually kind of disgusting. Well, Daddy came in and uh, whack, smacked me clear across the room, right into my stepmom's crystal. Got eight stitches right here. The senator did that? Mm -hmm. But you know what? My table manners never improved. Me. Well, bless your heart. <laughs> Do you work here? Or? Uh huh. Over in the restaurant. Uh -huh. I'm Nadine. Nadine. That's a very pretty name. Thank you. Just wanted to let you know, sir, that everything's going great. No, no, there's no problems at all. She's a fine young lady. Kisses. Yes, sir. Tell me something, Nadine. Um, what's the latest book you read? I haven't actually finished it yet, but. Boy, it was great meeting you, Nadine, but, uh, nature calls. Right. Well, you know, we all want to see you in. After all, you are the best man, so. Uh-huh. Right. No, I, I think a big victory would put you right over the top. Uh, obviously, it's a question of testifying the agenda of public... Uh, public... Oh, shit. No, no, excuse me, sir. I, uh... 
Ah, B just stung me right in the nose. I'm fine. No, can I, get, can I get back to you? <laughs> Robin! Hey! Robin! Sorry now, little lady. I can't pick up no hitchhikers. Huh? Praise the Lord for that. I'm escaping from a couple of Satan worshiping rapists. What were you say? Hey, calm it. I just gave him the sprint to step on it. Calm down. Salty Dog, this is Holy Roller. Salty Dog here. Catching loud and clear, Holy Roller. Get away from it, good buddy, and take care of that canoe when you'll stop inside. That's a 10 4, Holy Roller. Thanks, Good Bob. That's good, right, baby? Don't get around this guy. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just going to part the hair for you. Got any big ideas? I'm thinking. Now hold it right there, mister, unless you want to find yourself doing five to ten for transporting illegal contraband over state lines. Go get those drugs, Polly. No, you don't. Now, just put that thing away and we won't have to book you. What the hell are you talking about? I've been tracking her for four states. That girl's a walking drugstore. You cops? Damn right. Let me see your damn badge. I, uh... You ain't no cop. You a damn liar. That's what you are. Whoa! Hey! You got me, Keenan. I'm gonna rip your waist and I'm gonna lay a home on the side of your head. Mom, don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. I can explain everything. Stop! Hey, mister. The truck. Oh, the truck. Jesus! 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 Oh, my truck! My truck! Oh, 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 my truck! could have killed me with that club and the truck could have killed him and the poor guy loses all his chickens it was an accident i must have kicked something inside the truck there were accidents in that just follow you around don't they well i'll tell you what one more episode out of you little lady i'm gonna find you and gag you and throw your ass in the truck so don't push me all right all right <laughs> you think i'm kidding you think this is funny that goes for you too guy what this isn't funny! Okay. <laughs> Come here! 
chickens. It was an accident. Okay. Okay for now. But you could see yourself warned, all right? you won't pull any more shit tonight, you can have a beer, okay? Okay, deal. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. confinement and Thorazine. <laughs> hey, you can have a lot of fun there. Robin, <laughs> don't forget to write. Oh. I think maybe she's had a little too much to drink. I think maybe we've all had a little too much to drink.
tricks now. seen her since I was eight years old, not since my dad divorced her. Anyway, I was thinking, I know it'll probably screw things up and you can't do it, but can we stop off and see her? I don't know exactly where she lives, but I promise it won't take more than a day or so, and then after that I... Robin, no, I'd, I'd love to, but I can't. There's just no way. Can't she come down and visit you or something, isn't it? Sure. Robin, I, I'd love to help you, but I I just It's I can't. A, it's okay, you can't. Now, where were we? <laughs> oh wait. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna unlock these. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> that's better. Hey! Hey, wait a minute, Robin! Whoa! Hey, get back here! Goodbye, Polly. I'm going to miss you. What? Come here! You little maggot! Get back here right now! Yeah! Come on! Yeah. 
Stupid man. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> May I ask you a personal question, Robin? Is that what they call the wet look? Oh, <laughs> Listen, I got a suitcase full of clothes. Why don't you get yourself into something dry before you shrivel up like a broom? Thank you. So where are you headed? South. Want to come? Sure. That's where the birds fly. She handcuffed herself to you. Was that her idea or was it yours? Look, I screwed up, all right? Let's just leave it at that. The senator is going to flip when he hears about this. You're not going to tell him. Well, you got any better ideas? Yeah, we go after her. We don't even have a car. We can go into town and we can rent one. We can hitchhike into town and we can rent one. Tommy, you don't even know which direction she went. Oh, oh, I think we do. What the, what the hell is this? She left this. It's a letter from her mama, and uh, she don't live too far away. Let's get this one. Come on. That's right, mama. Oh, yeah, Junior's history. You can file him under G for gone. <laughs> no, don't you worry about me. I'll be just fine. I love you, too. And listen, you give Dad a big old kiss for me, all right? Okay, bye-bye. Bye. You get along with your mom? Oh, yeah, she's a sweetheart. How about you? Yeah. She's a lot like me. That's what people say, anyway. So is that football player your boyfriend? Junior? Oh, heck no. No, we went out a couple of times, and I thought, what the high? I thought he'd be good for a weekend. Oh, golly, I think I seem to have a weakness for Neanderthals. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Do you have any special Don Juan in your life? There was this one guy. He was really cute. Yeah? Really smart, too, but... He was bogus. He just wanted to kiss up to my dad. Well, who's your daddy? Nobody. Nobody that you'd care about. No calling. Hey, hey. Hey, dude.
of smiling. Well, that'd be my guess, right? <laughs> Come on. How do you do, boys? Hold on. Howdy. Howdy. Our radio's broke, so you was just a ticket for me. My name's Stu. How about you? Hi, Stu. I'm Paul. This is T.S. T.S.? What's that stand for? Turtle shit? <laughs> Sorry, old buddy. Never make fun of a man's name, especially when he has a funny one. You know, when we was kids, they used to call me Chicken Stu. I hated that. I really did. Chicken stew. Damn, I hated that. What kind of business are you in, Stu? Oh, sales, my game. Go ahead, open up one of those cases. Yeah. Hey, go ahead. Watch out. Could be fragile. What? <laughs> <laughs> novelties, I sell novelties. Business ain't what it used to be. Can't hardly get that stuff away no more. Okay. You know why? Because nobody's got a sense of humor no more. That's you boys don't mind riding along with me one of my stops, do you? Oh, uh, we're kind of in a hurry here, Stu. No, it won't take long. Just tiny ways off the road back here. All right. Right down here. That's this old farmhouse. Jane, you hear the one about the farmer's daughter? She had trouble keeping her calves together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're coming up to it. It's just around this corner. Oh, yeah, this is it. Right here. Sorry to do this to you, buzzards. Business ain't what it used to be. You know why? Because nobody's got a sense of humor no more, that's why. <laughs> you think I'm a joker? Yeah, it's a squirt gun. I want your wallets, your watches, your rings. Toss them up there in the dash. This is my watch. Hurry up! I don't have a ring, mister. All right. Now get out of the car! Take off all your clothes! Let's go! Hear him off! <laughs> now run! <laughs> Look, go! See the funny papers, boys! <laughs> So we suffered a little setback. We're not gonna let it beat us. And in order to the fat lady sings, right? Hey, you don't think you follow us, do you? No. All we gotta do is try harder. We still got plenty of time, all right? Yeah. Roads back that way. Shortcut. Uh-huh. a miracle to catch her now. She's got at least five hours on us. Hey, I ain't worried about her anymore. I'm worried about my feet, okay? Oh, God, I can't believe I'm blowing this. Major opportunity with the senator. The chance of a lifetime, and I am blowing it, yes? I need a miracle. I need a... I need a Porsche. Damn you, Mizzy Butler. I can't be the same guy. Thank you, Lord. What are you doing? Hey, Congressman, you're out of your mind. Bingo. You gonna steal his car? Oh, man. This guy is ripped. Just think of it as a public service, all right? Come on. Polly, losing the senator's daughter is bad. 
going to prison is real bad, okay? Frankly, Tommy, I don't give a damn. That was good. It sure was. I'm gonna get us another round. My mama always said, Missy, if you don't treat yourself like a princess, ain't nobody else will. <laughs> We got a stolen 1986 Porsche. Last hey, man, she ain't just a Porsche. Two to 60 in five seconds. You smell, boy. Get back on that seat. Full turbo Carrera package, man. Factory alloy. What's going on there, Merle? You be in breaking sense, bro? Did you hear me? I don't see why we got a wet nurse, that little crybaby. I told you it's directly from headquarters. His dad is some damn millionaire. Yeah, well, I don't give a shit what happened to this goddamn car. Hey, man, let's get a move on. I'm not telling you another time to get back in that seat. Look at that. Now it smells like somebody done shit a Christmas tree in there. Hi, I need my mother's address. Her name is Blanche Kitteridge. She's got a post office box here, 351. She's your mother? How come you don't know where she is? I haven't seen her for eight years, okay? Got any proof she's your mother? What do you want, a blood test? I just want her address. <sighs> well, now let me explain something to you, young lady. Now, the reason people have post boxes is because they don't want their addresses given out. Now, you could come walking in here with all the ID in the world, but I'm still not going to divulge confidential information. Next. Please, mister, this is really important to me. Listen, couldn't you all just bend a little just this one time? She's my mother. I'm sorry, ladies, but we have rules here, and we like to stick by them. Now, why don't you step aside? Thank you so much for all your help. Hey! Hey! Whoa. Madam, I can see you have vanquished me fairly on the field of honor, okay? So where I come from, the tradition of honor dictates that the vanquished gentleman surrender his soul to the victor. You do carry a soul, don't you? So what? Why don't you just leave me alone? You know, I'd love to. You know, at first I thought you were a real shit, but then you surprised me because you acted like a human being. I'm starting to think you're an all right guy, but you know what? I was wrong. You're a shit. I just wanted to see my mother. That's all. Now I'm never going to get to thank you. Okay, come on.
kill me. I'm gonna scream. I'm warning you. I'm gonna scream. Let me go. I Robin, just wanna see okay. my mother. You act like I'm asking for the world. Let me go. Robin, I said okay. Robin, will you damn it? Will you listen to me? Will you button it up and listen? I said okay. I'll take you to see your damn mother. Oh, that's sweet of you, really. I mean, I can imagine that Robin might have acted over-exuberantly from time to time. But from what you've told me, I think her daddy is entirely wrong on this occasion. I can't say I entirely disagree with you. Where are my manners? My name's Melissa Butler. Oh. My friends call me Missy, though. T.S. Wayne, at your service. Those are very literary-sounding initials, you know. You think so? Mm-hmm. Mm. Can I ask you something, Melissa? Missy. Missy. Um, who's your favorite author? Uh, okay. Let's see if you're as smart as you look, Yankee. Who said, why do you hate the South? I don't hate it. I don't hate it, he thought, panting in the cold, cold air. air. The, the iron, iron New England, England dark. dark. I, I don't. don't. I don't. I don't hate it. it. I, I don't, don't hate it. it. I must have died and gone to heaven. Welcome to the pearly gates. So what are you gonna do? Well, you asked this guy if your mom's address, he wouldn't give it to you, right? Right. Okay, we're gonna go in, we're gonna ask him again. What's the point of that? Robin, if there's one thing you can always count on, it's the laziness of a federal government employee. Especially the ones that work in the post office. Come on. Hi. Would you like a business size envelope, please? Thank you. Julia, this has to be registered mail. Okay, and I'd like to insure this if I could. Uh, 50, no, 150 bucks insurance. Okay, this has to be special delivery also. And uh, overnight mail, if I could. Okay, what else? What else? Oh, uh, can I see your stamp catalog? The wildlife catalog with the buffaloes? Buffaloes. I like buffaloes. Box 351. Hell, that's this office. You can't send uh, special delivery and all that to this office. Oh, yes, I can. Tell you what, though. Why don't I just uh, save us a bunch of paperwork and I'll take it over there myself. How'd that be? What was that address again? 34 Knott's Ferry. Last place on the ends. Next. Thank you, sir. It's kind of a rental, actually. That's pretty clever back there. What? The way you handle that guy? Well, in the work that I do, you learn how to talk to people, you know? There's no use in fighting the system. The trick is to make the system work for you. You get your way and you make people think you're doing them a favor. Blind rebellion, they get you nowhere, Robin. Give me a break. Let's take you, for example. You wanted to see your mom, right? Yeah. You didn't have to run away. All you had to do was ask. I did. You said no. That's not the point. The point is to have strength in your own convictions. If you really wanted to see your mom, you would have found a way to convince me somehow. That's why the American system is such a good one. It's, it's not perfect. But, uh, it... <coughs> it, uh... Yes? I lost my train of thought. Hey, that's my call! Yep, I'm sorry, Earl. This is a one-way street. Okay, little mistake. I'm handling it. What are you doing? Are you crazy? <laughs> oh, I just want to see how this car handles. These babies really corner, you know what I mean? Oh, God! You could have smashed them! Well, they are. They're entrance. No, no way. Not us. Come on. Come on, get them!
Okay, this, 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 this novelty sales, right? Yeah, I can post a 357 on, on, on TS. So, he gets us out of the car, takes, we take up all our clothes, right? Yeah. He starts shooting at my feet. The guy's taking shots at me. I spot this Porsche, right? The guy's passed out cold, ripped, drunk. And he's got the keys in his hand. Yeah. And I, I guess he didn't mind if I borrowed it. I'm gonna kill, man! I'm gonna kill! So to sum all this up, uh, basically this car is stolen. And we got nowhere else to go right now. Damn. Well, run! Come on. Thank you, Lord. You must drive a Porsche yourself. Oh, my God! Porsche. <laughs> I think we lost them. Yeah. Well, the town should be right through there. Of course, means we're gonna have to wait across. Come on. You know, I'm surprised at you. I never met a congressional aide who's also a car thief. Well, I'm a multifaceted congressional aide. Well, I don't think that's what Daddy would say. Oh, well, your Daddy's in on it. Has me pick up a few new benzes every now and then. <laughs> Well, then I guess you're not so bad, considering you're taking the prison and you're a politician. Well, Robin, I'm not exactly a politician yet. I'm a junior aide, which is about a step below summer intern. Yeah, well, you, uh... Whoa! Ooh. Oh, you right? Yeah. <laughs> you're, uh, planning on being one, right? Well, yeah, I'd like to do something, you know, worthwhile in this lifetime. I realize I'm not going to save the planet, but I figure I'll give it my best shot. I thought politics was the best way to go about it. Good luck. Why, don't you agree? The only thing I've seen of politics is that you're always being nice to people that you don't like. Always doing things that you don't offend. Me, I like to shake things up. Of course, I have nothing against saving the world, do you, there? Yeah. How old are you? 21. Whoa! Whoa, okay? Yeah. Let's have a look at it. No, no, I'm fine. Really. Look, why don't I carry you? No, no, I'm okay. You don't no, have really. to. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. Your pleasure, huh? Yeah, my best. Yeah? Yeah. That's good, because <laughs> I don't really mind it either. Really? In fact, I kind of like it. I kind of like it, too. What the hell is that doing here? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Down you go. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I believe man will not merely prevail. He will endure. I like the part, Mr. Van Dorch. Mm. Ah, Jesus, I'm put around like a lake tank. Excuse us. No, keep doing that. I'm sorry. she's gonna like you. You're her daughter, she's your mom. Don't even worry about it. Thanks, so. I know so. Besides, if she doesn't, she's the crazy one. Maybe it runs in the family.
Mom. Robin. Surprised you, huh? You look fantastic, Robin. I guess you're wondering what I'm doing here. See, this is going to sound crazy, but Dad's trying to put me away in a reform school. So I got my friends to drive me here. They're right outside. See, they're my friends, but they work for the senator, too. I, I was thinking that maybe you could call him and talk to him. And he doesn't care, really, anyway. And then what? And then I could stay here with you. Y'all friends, Blanche? Sort of. My daddy says she's crazy, but I like her anyway. What type of bait you use? Robin, your father is a very powerful man. And it's impossible to keep him from getting what he wants. I tried years ago when I left. There was no way the court was going to give me custody. I used to tell myself that it was all Clark's fault, but that wasn't true. I couldn't go through it again, Robin. I couldn't. I shouldn't have come. Robin! You've got to understand. There hasn't been a day that I haven't thought about you. Dreamed of what you've become. What kind of friends we could be. If I thought I could go up against your dad and beat him, I wouldn't hesitate. But that's not going to happen. You're lying. Because you never would have let him take me in the first place. You can both go to hell! Hey, 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 Robin! Hey, what happened? Don't ask. to grab something and you just managed to push it further away. Yeah. Hi, this is Robin Kittery. Just up the hill there, expect Robin Kitteridge, you're expecting her? The headmaster will be right with you. 
Robin. Forget it, Paul. There's nothing we can do. I'm just sorry things didn't exactly work out with your mom. Yeah, me too. The hell with this place. This does not have to happen. Okay. Hello, Robin. Sir. You know, for a while there, I was afraid I'd picked the wrong man for the job. Congratulations, Tracy. A job well done. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I, I didn't uh, expect to see you down here. Uh, Fundraising. Came down the last minute. We convinced the senator to make a weekend out of it. Try out the local golf course. I'm not going to forget this, Tracy. When you get back to Washington, we're going to sit down together and discuss your future. Sounds great, sir. If you'll excuse me, Tracy, there's a few things I have to discuss with my daughter. Robin. There's no way I'm staying here. I don't care what you say. You are going to do what I say. No way! I'm not staying here! There's no way, you bastard! Hey! Hey! I'm not staying here! I'm not staying here! Getting a promotion is what you're doing. Nah. You're right, a promotion. Look, you had to take her in. What else could you do? So, how long do you want to stay here? Okay. Don't be ridiculous. Just open this gate. Ma'am, ma'am, can I, can I talk to you for a second, please? Well, who the hell are you? I'm Robin's friend. I'm the guy who brought her here. Really? Where I come from, friends don't deliver their friends to prison. Where I come from, mothers don't abandon their daughters. Who do you think you are? I told you, I'm Robin's friend. Do you realize what Robin went through just to see you? She was really counting on you. She loves you. Did she say that? Yes. She's spending her whole life wondering what's wrong with her that would cause her mom to take a walk. Oh, there was nothing wrong with Robin. It was me. Hey, Paul. Figured you might be here. How the hell did you guys get here? We walked all the way here. My feet are killing me. Hi, I'm T.S. Missy Butler. And, uh, we brought a little present for Robin. Your heart's in the right place, but I think there's a simpler solution. Now, I tell you what, we don't want to buy. We just want to rent for the day. 
How much? It's a, sort of a gag for our fraternity. A hundred dollars. Deal? Yeah. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm Paul Tracy. I'm serious. Okay, go on in. Senator Kitteridge. Yes? Yeah, well, the senator sent me to have his daughter sign some papers. You can leave them with me and I'll see if she gets them. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I have to take them for myself. They have to be notarized. They have to be what? Notarized. And the senator's saying I also have a notary license. Okay. She's sick, damn it. Can't you see that? Okay, okay. We're getting you out of here. Get it, Paul. I've got no place to go. Come here. I want to show you something. You see out there by the fence, Robin? Now, I've had a long talk with her. And I know she's had her problems, sure. But the bottom line is she loves you. She loves you very much. She wants you to come live with her. You love her? Yeah. And if you don't want to live with her, that's okay. You can live with me. Because I love you too. He says she's sick. I'll go with him. Okay. Hide this. Hide it behind your back. Don't say a word. Play along with me, all right? What's the problem? Well, she's the problem. She's a mess. You sick? No. Look at her eyes. This girl's on drugs. I assure you, we don't have a drug problem at this institution. Are you sure about that? Huh? Look how pale she is. She's shaking. What do you got there, Robin? Huh? Are you hiding something? Um, what do you got? Oh, there. Go for poison. See? Where'd this come from? Oh, God. This has happened before. Why didn't they tell you? Yeah, she's suicidal. It's a third attempt. Did you take any of this, Robin? Did you take some of these? Um, tell us, did you? I, I, I couldn't go on anymore. I hate it here. I, I, I want to die. I'll go phone an ambulance. Go get a wheelchair. Can you throw up? No, I, I know. just have to make you throw up. Yeah. Yeah, all lights are green. Okay, pal, we're on our way. Fire it up, Mama. All right, Mama. You're too young to just throw your whole life away. I'm too young to live in this hell. Nurse, the chair's here. Come and help me with her. Let's go downstairs. Go ahead, Robin. <laughs> the chair. I want to die. Hold on, Robin. Hang on. This can't go on anymore. Come on, Robin. Uh, uh. You got balls of steel, baby. Don't flatter me while I'm driving. Okay. 
to? Senator, I, I thought you were in Washington. I, what are you doing? Well, I, I was just telling your dad that uh, suicide is not the answer. Suicide? Go for poison, sir. Cyanide base. We don't know how she got hold of it. Robin, why would you do this? This is my fault, isn't it? Have I made it that bad for you? Oh, God. I have, haven't I? How can you ever forgive me? No, wait, Daddy. Look, I'm okay, see? I think the ambulance is waiting for us. No, Paul, I can't go through with this. It's too mean. Daddy, there's nothing wrong with me. Nothing? No, it was just an act, or just to get out of here. And this is just another one of your stunts. Yeah, this is a jail, Dad. Another one of your damn stunts. That's hey. lying to me. And this is... Back off, Senator. You're in on this, too, aren't you? Your daughter is a fine person. She doesn't belong in here. She belongs wherever the hell I send her, and this is none of your damn business, Tracy. Yeah. You know, you really had me fooled for a while, sir. I thought you were a good guy, maybe even a great man. But now I realize you're just a big asshole. You don't talk to me that way. Oh, no, you don't. Dad! talk about this like adults. Let's reason this out. Charges. Breaking and entering, child endangerment. Yeah. Well, how does this sound? Statutory rape, the babysitter in Seattle, remember? Or bribery, the defense contractor in Irvine, huh? You so much as breathe one word of this, buddy, and I'll have your dick in a pencil shot. Well, Blanche, this may be true. Oh, something else. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> 